Good evening and welcome to live streaming worship here at Emmanuel Episcopal Church. My name is Father David Bumstead. I'm the rector here. It's great to be with you over the internet. Thanks for joining us tonight again for evening prayer. Uh, in just a little while, at about six o'clock, we'll stream uh, what we're calling uh, Praying Through Ephesians, a course of Lexio Divina through the book of Ephesians. So if you're looking for that, once again, we'll stream that at six. But for now, let's go pray. Beloved evening prayer can be found on page 61 of the Book of Common Prayer or in the link I've provided in the description. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth stand in awe of him. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. We have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven. O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed. Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalms appointed for this evening are Psalms 114 and 115, found on page 756 of the Book of Common Prayer. Hallelujah! When Israel came out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange speech, Judah became God's sanctuary and Israel his dominion. The sea beheld it and fled. Jordan turned and went back. The mountains skipped like rams, and little hills like young sheep. What ailed you, O sea, that you fled? O Jordan, that you turned back? You mountains that you skipped like rams, you little hills like young sheep, Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Who turned the hard rock into a pool of water, and flint stone into a flowing spring? Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your love and because of your faithfulness. Why should the heathen say, Where then is their God? Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills to do, he does. Their idols are silver and gold. 
the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak. Eyes have they, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear. Noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel. Feet, but they cannot walk. They make no sound with their throat. Those who make them are like them. And so are all who put their trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us, and he will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great together. May the Lord increase you more and more, you and your children after you. May you be blessed by the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. The heaven of heavens is the Lord's, but he entrusted the earth to his peoples. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor all those who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth forevermore. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be together forever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. We also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as what it truly is, the word of God, which is at work in you believers. For you, brethren, became imitators of the church of God in Christ, which are in Judea, for you suffered the same things from your own countrymen as they did from the Jews, who killed both the Lord Jesus and the prophets and drove us out, and displeased God and opposed all men by hindering us from speaking to the Gentiles that they may be saved, so as always to fill up the measure of their sins. But God's wrath has come upon them at last. But since we were bereft of you, brethren, for a short time, in person, not in heart, we endeavored the more eagerly, e eagerly and with great desire to see you face to face, because we wanted to come to you. I, Paul, again and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope or joy or crown of boasting before our Lord Jesus at his coming? Is it not you? For you are our glory and joy. Here endeth the reading. Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus continued, You have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not kill, and whoever kills shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother shall be liable to the council. Whoever says, You fool, shall be liable to the hell of fire. So if you're offering your gift at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, you reconcile to your brother, and come and offer your gift. Make friends quickly with your accuser, while you're going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the guard, and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out until you've paid the last penny. Here endeth the reading. Nuc Dimittis. Lord, now let us sound thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, in the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Suffrages be, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat thee, that thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat thee, O Lord, that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in the communion of all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord. <clears throat> o God, whose Son Jesus is the good shepherd of thy people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calleth us each by name, follow where he doth lead, who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is at hand, and the day is past. Be our companion in the way, kindle our hearts and awaken hope, that we may know thee as thou art revealed in scripture in the breaking of bread. Grant this for the sake of thy love. Amen. Let's pray the first prayer for mission on page 70. O 
God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Beloved, I bid your intercession and intercessions and thanksgivings, uh, offering them wherever you are. Uh, and if you'd like to share any of those, uh, certainly laying them at the feet of the cross of Jesus, uh, but also in our comment section. Jesus, we pray that you would watch over all of those who are suffering as a result of coronavirus, especially those sickened. We pray that you would watch over them, heal them, bring them to your full intention of help for them. We give you thanks, O oh God, for those who are serving uh, in the medical arts, especially doctors, nurses, other medical Watch over them, O oh God. Keep them safe. Give them your wisdom, courage, and peace. We ask, O oh God, that you would watch over all those essential workers. We give you thanks for giving them the courage that they need to keep our communities going. pray, O oh God, that you would watch over all of those who have lost their jobs or have had their livelihoods otherwise compromised. Draw them in with your peace, O oh God. Remind every one of us that the fulfillment of our work is found in you, O oh God. Give all leaders your wisdom discern how to best move forward, opening up our communities. Pray this night for the repose of the soul of all who have died, especially those who have died as a result of coronavirus, and the light perpetual shine upon them. Amen. Let's pray the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, the unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, I will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
thanks again for joining us this evening for prayers. Uh, be back in not too long uh, for our, uh, our series, Praying Through Ephesians. Good night.